formula. And now for something completely different, I'm going to praise the city of Valdosta about, I hope you're sitting down, I'm going to praise the city of Valdosta about trash. Thank you. Because that's the picture that I was showing the mayor earlier on my phone. I haven't even had time to post it because I just took it yesterday. He's already seen it. <coughs> Take a moment to get it back on the phone. That was... Ben O'Dowd That's Angela right. Angela Bray. That's right. That was city engineer Ben O'Dowd and that was stormwater manager Angela Bray down at Two Mile Branch on Berkeley Drive where they were contracting about uh, putting in a trash trap below. Berkeley Drive. I was out there a few days before with the city engineer and there, he had three people from Georgia Department of Natural Resources investigating the same thing. If I understand correctly, what they're talking about is the city has purchased a more robust trash trap for the location at Sugar Creek where there already is one. Good. And they're going to move that one. One to extend one. it out farther, correct? Uh, it's more up and down, but probably out farther would help as well. Okay. The problem is it's going over it when there's a lot of water. And that and that thing can naturally fill up. It's naturally a concave. Right, right. Area. Right, it, it's got a net, and it's going to have a better net, and yeah, I think it is going to be longer. So I'm going to take the old one and put it down there on Two Mile Branch. So it may have to shorten it. John, John and I are working at this thing from a different angle now, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Now we actually go see the things. Now we, we load I up. Love the, it. Now we load up in the car yeah. and go to the. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. That again. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, I went down and talked to some of the neighbors there, and he brought in one of his neighbors. And said, "I saw you on uh, YouTube interviewing the mayor about trash." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I love these conversations. I'm in no way, shape, and form uncomfortable. I love facing them. I love talking about them because that brings more eyes, more people to the, the issue. And also makes people realize we're never going to be perfect. These things happen. Um, again, oh, I'm not done praising the city. Oh, no way. This is so rare. You, you, got, you should be best. Two in, in one day. So I, I suggested to uh, the city engineer, why don't you also think about putting some kind of trash trap on Two Mile Branch at Oak Street because the city owns the land upstream there. That's Mackey Park. That would stop the tennis balls from coming down the creek. And oh, yeah. Because most of it is not coming from the subdivision. It's coming down mm -hmm. from Patterson, Ashley, and you know, people who are eating there at Mackey Park, I suppose. So where exactly are you wanting to get put in? Just above Oak Street on uh, Two Mile Branch. Which is the bottom of the Mackey. Yeah, park. nice. Right. And That's brilliant. March. Angela said that'd be easy to get the trucks in. Even easier because we're going to clean a lot of that brush. Mm -hmm. March 7th, we have the ribbon cutting for the pickleball courts. There you go. Oh, what time is that? One. Yeah. That's great. Put it down. One, and a lot of that brush behind there. Oh, perfect, John. Perfect, perfect. That's, mm -hmm. that's synergy right there. So they're considering that, and uh, I'm not done yet praising the city of Belt Austin. Let's get the trash. pickleball people to clean the, uh, the trap. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Because that would make uh, doing trash traps easier if there were people to clean them out. Now, I am still the school that does the city of Belt Austin ask volunteers to clean up after sewage spills. I don't think so. We do on a trash trap, though. Yeah, why, what is the difference exactly? Bobby and his granddaughter are superstars. We, we never thought when we graduated to the second one or the third one that we would then, then ask volunteers. That's when we have to have a plan to clean it ourselves. Yeah, it's actually Russell. Or pick up all the people. <laughs> Russell, Russell McBride and his granddaughter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, he likes doing it, but I do not think he would mind being relieved of the duty. And the engineer actually mentioned that it might happen. I don't know. Uh, I think it, I think it's his identity at this point, John. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Russell? He's really listening. I love Russell. He is a great guy.